हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ बॉम्बे टीचर्स ट्रेनिंग कॉलेज आई रुखसार शेख अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर राजीव आई झा विल बी प्रेजेंटिंग माई एम्प्रोवाइज अपैरिटिस ऑफ अ वैक्यूम क्लीनर बट बिफोर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड लेट्स सी वट इज एन अपैरिटिस एन अपैरिटिस इज एन इक्विपमेंट विच इज नीडेड टू कैरी आउट एन एक्सपेरिमेंट The image which you can see on your right hand side is the image of an apparatus. What is the concept of an improvised apparatus? An improvised apparatus in science project is a apparatus which is used as an alternative for the original equipment and this is the image of a vacuum cleaner. Logic behind using low cost improvised apparatus It provides hands-on learning and also the cost of the material used in making it is very low which offers an alternative solution to do science in classroom under constraints There are various steps involved in making an improvised apparatus and these are as follows These are the materials required for preparing vacuum cleaner at home. First, let us prepare a plastic bottle. Choose a clean empty bottle. It will be the main body of our vacuum cleaner. Carefully cut it in half. we will be using the bottom half as a dust container let's wire up the motor strip the ends of the two wires and connect them to the terminals of a dc motor now connect one wire of the motor to one terminal of the switch the other terminal of the switch goes to the positive terminal of the 9 volt battery Finally connect the remaining wire of the motor directly to the negative terminal of the battery. Now attach the positive terminal of the wire to the positive terminal of the USB wire and the negative terminal of the wire to the negative terminal of the USB wire. attach the negative terminal of the usb wire to the negative terminal of the battery and the positive terminal of the usb wire to the positive terminal of the battery Now let's prepare our motor. If a DC motor doesn't have a propeller, go ahead and fix one. To the motor shaft, position position the motor at the center of the small pipe. You need to cut a hole in the pipe to fit the motor. Almost done. Before sealing everything, let us test the motor. Now let's start the vacuum cleaner. Take some pieces of paper to use as debris. Now on the vacuum cleaner, even and we will see how it works. The 
these are the advantages of using low cost improvised apparatus. Let us now move on to a scientific toy. A scientific toy provides young children to learn and relearn scientific concepts plus make it more enjoyable and useful. Through toys, children can learn about themselves, their world and others. Toys can teach children to figure out how things work, pick up new ideas, build muscle control and strength, use their imagination to solve problems and learn to cooperate with others. The materials required for making a scientific toy are Okay, let's make a kaleidoscope. So to make a kaleidoscope, we need three mirrors having same length and breadth and hold it so to make a triangular shape. After we are happy with the placement, just hold them and tape them in place. And now with this simple step, my kaleidoscope is ready. So what I look inside, it looks great, but the kaleidoscope doesn't. So we will make this a little more impressive and for that, I am going to take a cardboard paper and stick it onto the kaleidoscope. It looks a little plain, so we will decorate it with nice and shiny tape and stars. When we look through all the kaleidoscope, all the mirrors reflect each other and make cool shapes. With that, my kaleidoscope is now ready and it looks pretty. Now we will see the magic. Thank you. 